Hello, Power Apps users. Today we will discuss the multi select dependent drop down. In the last video, we discussed single select, which is more straightforward than this. This video is almost a continuation of the previous one. When we say multi select in Power Apps, it has to use a combo box. Since this is multi select, I'll be using a separate set point list so let's jump on that one let me show the screen here so this is the first list so one is a laboratories which is a master list having all mapping the second one is is to store that actual record or the data right so this one always i'm having everything in this kind of text simple text one region country state and the lab name it's all of them it's a plain text uh, and then I'm here as I'm mapping, right? So everything I'm mapping. So country depends on region. State depends on country. Lab name depends on state. So this is the master list. The second one, which is the uh, regular list, which we are going to store the data. So this one is all of them region, country, state, lab name. This all four of them is a choice field. If we go and take a look at it, go to list settings. So if you see here, everything is a region so that you no, know, we can easily map it um, and then we can use it for you know, right purposes. So now uh, we know the SharePoint uh, schema or source schema and for both of them. Let me show in the laboratory also, make sure. Okay, so everything is right. Everything is a simple text or region country, lab name, and the state, it's all our simple text, okay? And then we can add them that it does as, as much as needed, okay? So uh, for this one, uh, now most of the you know, clients I used, uh, used to have in, not all regions don't need it, okay? Where, wherever their supplier, wherever the business needs is, you know, most of it's configurable, some regions and some countries like that. That's why we have a separate list to have a proper mapping. Okay, so now we'll go to uh, Power Apps. Let run the application to see how that it works and then we'll go to detail one by one, okay? Okay, click on the demo. Okay, now you see it is existing added, added the existing one. So simple a list, uh, which is I'm using a gallery. Then when you select existing one, if you see here predefined, no, existing one, it's already selected one. So for example, here is you no know, the blue color. It means it's really it's selected, right? And then you know, all of them. When I'm going to change something, say, uh, so now it's a North America, right? So North America, the region. And then you can see the country, it's USA and Canada. When you add it, South America, then all is uh, wiped. It means you no know, rest of them is wiped out. And then you can see that countries based on North America and South America. Okay, so when I'm selecting country, then you can see that states belongs to Canada now, right? So you can say Toronto, then you can see it lab on these two states. Okay, so here North America and South America, just for testing, right? So click save. Oh, save, right? So it's clicky save. Now create a new one to see how that works. So I'll say supplier 10. Okay, we'll select North America. Then I can say USA, Minnesota, and Iowa. No, a couple of them. I'll select all. Right. So here I'm say North America and save. Yeah, boom, supplier 10, right? So everything saved and then everything showing at whatever we saved. Okay, now for simple uh, process, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so simple, get it delete. So it's a simple confirmation because we don't want to delete it no, right away. So it's simple on small container. I'm getting, so I'm asking a confirmation window. So I'm going to say, do you want to delete this item? Just cancel it. Okay, just, just close the window. Again, 
do you want to plan select yes or delete it yes no it's deleted and then it, it's notified as well okay. so now that we see the important properties um, you know, of this all the controls and how we build it okay just exit out and then simple entry screen that's something okay so in a combo box we have a five important properties i can say when we say dependent drop down okay uh, since it's a multi select we are using combo box we have a five important properties one is items properties okay I'll click on a control and then see what is the item properties so this says distant you okay, know i'm using collection so because i don't want to hit um you know again and again for each control uh, again this is a kind of master list won't change frequently so it's used a collection it's an easy one um, so simply if you're getting a distinct region okay that's a items property the second one is default selected items all right so the default selected item is whenever you come on to the edit mode it needs to display whatever previously saved right so we go for default selected items right so here what we are saying here is uh, we are taking from the laboratory which is a master list right so getting the, all the region and then we are uh, filtering out whatever we previously we saved by this region this item right for this current item okay so that's a kind of default selected items property and the third property is on change event so on change event right so whenever we change region we are clearing country state and the lab name all right so that's the reason we are doing this one so on changes and event is very important so in on change we are setting up uh, two parameters one is the reset country the control names and then what are the default value we need to set it up okay so default value we can say the default country state lab name is a blank okay so here as i mentioned with the last video we have to set it so true and false if you're not setting up it works only one time okay no i i see somebody uh, users used to set it up the very only one time and then they will say hey it works one time the second time it's not working so the reason is you have to set it a true then now after, and then you can make it as a false so that then next time it it will enable it right so because it's a false so you're going to say enable no true it or make it true okay so uh, on change event no and then the fourth event is uh, reset it means whenever you want you are changing something you want to reset it so you want to trigger that one basically that's the reason we are setting the variable here so on this region you don't see that reset one uh, because that's a first control but if you go to that second one which is a country which is depends on the region you can be able to see it reset control which is a variable reset country because whenever you change region we are setting up the variable to reset country which is a true or false and then that's its triggers here okay and then the fourth one which is or sorry the fifth one is update property which is what will be storing to the database or you know to, to, to store this in a SharePoint list here so we select the control here and you go to the update property right so here if you say as previously we were using for items property and a default selected items property we were using a master list now we are using an actual list where we are going to store the data right here so we are storing list list the reason is so we need to tell them the system what exactly from this choice field you are selecting so what we've done it here is we are filtering all the regions so and then uh, from the all the regions and then only the selected item here so this the filter kind of the magic which converts from your master list and then to your current list so that system can understand now okay so so here as I, as I mentioned it's a five properties we are going to talk about it it's items property default selected items on change event reset and update property right so uh, update property because it's in the farm in a update property it's on a on a card level okay not on a control level to make sure everything you set it up so to make it work along this way right uh, not only in this screen and then you need to be making two more properties uh, no we, we are using that one what is that really is 
so if you go to list screen and then if you select the gallery and then on select of the gallery okay you see it here is we are setting up the variable uh, whatever the you know uh, region country you know state everything is saved here and then we are storing the uh, as a variable so the re reason is so when we change on the region the country needs to be empty right blank uh, but when we go default needs to show them so okay so that's the reason we are using a variable and then you know a simple and uh, navigate here then obviously when it comes to new mode then everything make sure it's a blank right so but new everything is a blank but when it comes to uh, edit mode and then you are setting up all these three we didn't set it up a region uh, because region does not depends on anything we are directly we are binding a region you can set it up a region also no, nothing comes here okay so the whole concept here is uh, very simple okay so items and default selected items default selected items property right so these two properties uh, use the master list okay right so here I'll go to item list okay item list which is a collection which is from a master list and then the default is selected items these also will use a master list okay master list and then whatever is selected but for update property we are using the actual list so that the system can understand when we store you no know, save the data system can understand what is exactly the data will be you no know, specifically the choice field okay so if we go for here um so now uh, if you go to that country again if you see all five properties right so items property which is here so in in the country items property is so we are filtering out a master list and then based on the region okay um, if you select a one or more than region then it should filter it out all the country we are taking from country so what we are taking here you are filtering the list based on the region selected and then you are getting a distinct country right because country is because here is repeated because you don't want to repeat not display multiple times so that's the reason we are taking distinct okay and then default selected item property same thing simple variable and then the re reset again should be a simple variable reset one on change event right on change event we are we need to set it up state and the lab need to be reset it right so then basically we are triggering them um, and then the last one is update property so go here select the card the outside card and then check update property right so we are selecting from the choices we are filtering the choices um, apart from them it's a simple um, that's all the, all the mm, from this a multi-selected dependent drop down and then I implemented a small uh, delete button right so when you say delete and then you just asking confirmation so how that works right so whenever you say uh, delete it ideally you are saying that so confirmation is true so confirmation is basically that window okay so this window is so confirmation let me go over here so this is a simple container a delete container and then the visible property is so confirm so right so it's true and then when you say yes it's ideally we are removing from the main list okay and then we simply say notified item deleted successfully and then we are closing the window how we are closing the window basically we are setting up the visible property to false okay okay let's cancel it here that's all viewers um please let me know if any questions on this multi-select dependent drop down um i'll be posting um this whole app and then sharepoint list um to my git repo no you can you can completely you can reuse it okay thank you